Okay, this is the simple formula for the bit depth or the color depth. Okay, 2 raised to power x is equal to the number of colors. Remember, this x here is the bit depth or the color depth. Okay, so sometimes in the exam, you are given the bit depth. Right, you have already given the bit depth in the exam or the color depth, and then using this this equation, you can basically calculate the number of colors. In other questions in the exam, you are given the number of colors, but you don't know the bit depth. Right, so in that case, you still have to work this equation out. You have to solve this equation to figure out what the bit depth is. Let's take a look at a few uh, examples. So for example, if an image is made up of two colors only, so the image is made up of black and white, what is the color depth? Once again, just remember this equation. So we don't know the color depth, right? Uh, so um, 2 raised to power x equals two colors, right? Black and white. So number of colors is on the right hand side. So, what power of 2 gives us 2 colors? So, what should be x? And we know that 2 raised to power 1 equals 2. So, x should be what? x should be 1. x is 1 means that the color depth is equal to 1. And remember that the color depth, depth is basically the number of bits per pixel. So if the color depth is 1, the number of bits per pixel is equal to 1. So if we have a 3 by 3 image, if we have a 3 by 3 image, so this is the image resolution, what is the file size of the image for a color depth uh, of 1 bit? Now, this is very simple now, right? So this would be what? 3 into 3 is 9 pixels. So we have a total of 9 pixels. And we are going to multiply this with our color depth, which is 1. So the answer is going to be 9 bits. OK, let's quickly do another example. If an image is made up of 256 colors, what is the color depth? Once again, we are going to use the same equation. 2 raised to power x is number of colors. And since we have 256 colors, which basically means what? 2 raised to power x should be equal to 256, right? The number of colors, right? So what does x come out to be, right? 2 raised to power 8 equals 256. Therefore, we can say that x is equal to 8 and basically x is the color depth. So, the color depth or the bit depth is 8, which basically means what? The number of bits per pixel in this image is equal to 8, right? So, 8 bits per pixel. So, let's try this question out. A 1000 by 500 image has 256 colors. What is the size of the image? I should say what is the size of this bitmap image, right? This is a bitmap image. Okay, so uh, we know that the image size is basically equal to what? Image size is number of pixels into color depth. And this would be equal to what? Number of pixels in this case would be equal to 1000 multiplied by 500, right? And the color depth for 256 colors we just calculated, it is 8, right? And this is going to be our answer, right? So which comes out to be what? 5 lakh and multiplied by 8 would be 40 lakh, right? So this is the number of bits. This is the size of the uh, image in bits. Okay, let's do this final question which says if an image is made up of 35 colors only, what is the color depth? Once again, the equation is the same. 2 raised to power x equals to number of colors. So in this case, we are going to get 2 raised to power x equals 35. Now, we need to use some common sense here in, in a question like this because what we know is that 2 raised to power 5 equals 32. We are not going to exactly get two raised, uh, this value 35. 
but we do know that the closest that we can get to is 2 raised to power 5 which gives us a value of 32. But the problem with 2 raised to power 5 is that we only have 32 colors whereas we need a total of 35 colors. So we cannot use 5 as a color depth as the color depth of the bit depth, right? Because using 5 bits per pixel would give us less number of colors, 32. So we have to use more than 5 bits uh, so that we can uh, accommodate all the 35 colors. So the next possible option that we have is 2 raised to power 6, right? And with 2 raised to power 6, we can have a total of 64 colors. Now this is not exactly 60, uh, this is not exactly 35, it is more than 35, but we can use this color depth or the bit depth of 6 to represent the 35 colors that we have. So in an example like this, you have to use your common sense, you'll never get the exact value, right, you'll never get 35 and you cannot use 2 raised to power 5 as the color depth because then you can only have a total of 32 colors. We must have uh, what we want is 35 colors, right? So for that, you know, we are going to use a color depth of 6 bits, right? And, you know, now we can represent the 35 colors and we can represent a maximum of up to 64, right? But we are only going to be using 35 colors out of this. So the color depth in this case is going to be 6. So the color depth in this case, or you can also call it the uh, bit depth, in this case it's going to be 6 which means what number of bits per pixel is going to be 6 so now if we get a question like this that we have a thousand by 500 image which has a total of 35 colors what is the size of the bitmap image we're going to use the simple formula image size is basically number of pixels multiplied by color depth we know that the number of pixels is thousand by 500 and the color depth is 6 bits right we just calculated it. For 35 colors, you know, the color depth is 6 bits. So our answer in this case is going to be what? 1000 into 500 would be 5 lakhs. Multiplied by 6 should be 30 lakhs. It should not be 40 lakhs. This should be 30 lakhs. So this is 30 hundred thousand bits. That's our answer in bits. If we want to convert this answer in bytes, we are going to divide 30 hundred thousand by 8. So this should give our answer in bytes and if we want our answer in kilobytes uh, then what are we going to do? We are going to divide this further by uh, 1000, right? So now our answer is going to be in kilobytes. I hope you have understood this concept.